suppose today we have a bit of a different video. Something that I think is quite exciting, but that's partially because I have two packages on my floor, um, which I will explain to you very shortly. So, my friends at Nespresso have sent me two packages. They are currently sitting right beside me, and I am really excited to open them because they contain things that will remind me of things which have shaped me over the past four years. And as you know, I like nostalgia and I love coffee. And fittingly, the first thing that fell out of the package were these Nespresso Selection Vintage 2014 capsules. Like a fine cheese or a fine wine, coffee can also be aged. And these have been aged for three years to provide the tastiest coffee ever. So I may have made myself a cup just before filming. Mmm. It's so good. Everything I've experienced over the past three or four years has gone towards shaping my craft and my YouTube and my music and everything that I do in my life. And creatively, I wouldn't be the person that I am without them. So, ooh, I wanna know what's that. I wanna know, I wanna know. Okay, this is package number one. Oh, it's wrapped really nicely. Oh my God, there's so many presents. I have a note. Hi Lucy. We believe that great craft takes time and we know you share the same belief, which is why we're sharing this coffee with you to celebrate the things you just can't rush. Each of these items has been handpicked for you in the hope that they will remind you of the time you have invested in your craft up to now. Best wishes, Nespresso. This is like Christmas. Okay, present number one. I don't know what this is. This feels like a calendar. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Okay, so when I was, oh, that's love, oh. In 2012, I went to Latitude Festival and this is the lineup and it's all framed and lovely. And I remember, oh my gosh, I remember seeing Bon Iver and just losing it. Like, absolutely, we were so emotional. Was this the year where, um, yeah, this is the year. Um, right, so on the Saturday, Leanne Le Havas played and I just, I'd been listening to her new album for, oh my gosh, for like, months and I adored her and I was so hungover, so tired and I went there at two o'clock in the afternoon and she came on stage and I started crying. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to open more now but that's really exciting. Oh, they've all got messages on them. Number one was to remind you of those best experiences spent by friends. Hashtag crafted by time. Is this number two? What is this? Number two, sometimes when things hit your sweet spot, they stay there. Ooh. Whoever wrapped these, top job. <gasps> yeah! Look at this! It's a box for the street waffle! <gasps> oh my god. So in my first year of uni, I went to Amsterdam um, to see my friend Chloe, and it was just such a lovely experience. Like, I really fell in love with the Netherlands. And now, I have street waffle for days. I really want one now. Can I have a bit now, please? Number three says, the perfect companion to help keep track of time and how much you've achieved. <gasps> oh, no way! <laughs> A decomposition notepad. I actually already have one that I already write my songs in, literally sitting over there on my piano. Oh, I love these. This one's got dinosaurs all over it. I've used decomposition notepads for years and years and years. How do they know this? How do they know? <laughs> I've used decomposition notepads for years and years and years for journaling for writing down my thoughts, for just like note taking, lyrics, everything goes in here. What's next? How can there be more? Number four. Some songs remind you of a time and a place and even an art class. No, 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 they didn't, no, they didn't. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God! Arctic Monkeys, AM. Oh, that's so cool. This is such a good record. This is from when I was 18. Like this album is 18 year old me. I listened to this in my art class. I listened to this when I was on the train going to university open days. I listened to this on nights out. I listened to this in Topshop. Yeah, I think Are You Mine was on the Topshop playlist when I worked there. This is so nice. This is so nice of them. Okay, we have a fifth present. To remind you of those poems that first inspired you to craft your own. Oh, oh, is it gonna be a poetry book? I used to write so much poetry when I was younger. What is this? Ooh. Oh my god, no way! A Bukowski poem book. Is this poetry? Yeah! Ooh, I haven't bought a new Bukowski in ages! So I read so much Bukowski when I was 17 and 18. Like, so much Bukowski. And also, funnily enough, in um, my English Lit class, we spent the whole 
second year writing about love. So this is incredibly appropriate for that period of my life. Oh, oh I love Bukowski. I love you Bukowski. Be my bae. How can you have topped this? How? We still have one box to open. And this is the second box, which says, open me last. The tag says, some songs stick, but we hope this will remind you of perhaps those songs you've forgotten. No. How can this remind me of the songs I've forgotten? What's gonna be in it? What's gonna be in it? No! No way! Oh my god! got me a record player oh my gosh no that's so nice you actually have me without words nespresso oh that's gorgeous look at this it's a portable record player it's from crosley oh that's so nice oh my gosh thank you so much nespresso it's really amazing how all of these things actually did helped craft me as a person it helped shape me and they helped me to create like, Bukowski, what would I do without poetry? What would I do without music? Like, I wouldn't. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Nespresso, for sending me these gifts. And this coffee, because it is delicious. <laughs> and please share with me on Instagram and Twitter the things that have shaped you over the past four years by using the hashtag craftedbytime. Okay, now I think I'm gonna eat my own body weight and stroopwaffle. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.